the solution for this example, firstly we need to calculate of that sales how much was cash. So that is a simple formula equals our sales multiplied by the percentage. Now we've got to be a little bit careful, we're going to copy it across and down. So for copying across the sales, we needed to stay looking at row 17. And for the percentage split, we need to make sure it stays looking at column C. So we should have that. And I should be able to copy this now. And paste it. So now what we have is our sales split into the various categories. Now we're going to look, I'm just going to skip the cash for now, I'm just going to go to the 30 days just to show you how it's going to work. So what we have here is you'll see we've put 30 days here, so we've just made it equals to that, you'll see why just now. We know that our closing balance needs to be based on 30 days of the sales. Just keep in mind this is a monthly income statement. So in order to work out what our closing balance needs to be, we need to build a formula and the formula is going to be equals, look at our sales for that month, multiplied by 12 to annualize it, divide by 365, so that gives us our average sales per day, multiplied by however many days are here. Because I'm going to copy it across, I need to put a dollar sign on the B. When I click enter, you'll see it tells me that based on these sales we need to end up with 5095 and I can now copy that across. So this is telling us what the closing balance needs to be. In order for the closing balance to be that, we know that it must be equals to the opening balance plus our sales minus how much was paid and we know that that can't be a positive number depending on how you want to set it up. So I'm going to just put a negative sign in front of it. I'm going to copy it. And just to check it, it's always useful, let's just highlight these three and we'll see they add up to 5095. 5095. Once you've set it up, you then do the same thing for cash, 60 days, etc. Because of the way we've built it, and because we used relative positions, so we've used sales here, it's actually possible for me now to highlight all of that, copy it, and go paste it here. So notice that that's now adding those up. And this one is looking at the sales and using that many days. So if you use, if you cleverly set it up, it should be a lot easier. So let's paste there, paste there. What you'll see is it now adds it up. So all this is doing just pre-set up for you. So it adds up the opening balances, adds up the sales, adds up the payments received. And to work out the weighted average number of days, then looks at the sales and the closing balance to work that out. And just to prove it's working, we've got a mini income statement. So you'll see the sales is looking at the sales line of our bucket. The payments is looking at what payments are achieved. And you'll see the balance sheet looks at the various aspects, including the debtor's balance, which comes from our bucket.